All right, look at problem number 10 in chapter 2 in our notes. Um, <clears throat> we are uh, looking at conservation of energy and talking about efficiencies and things like that. All right, so we've got water that's pumped from a lower reservoir to a higher reservoir by a pump that provides 20 kilowatts of shaft power. Uh, the free surface of the upper reservoir is 45 meters higher than that of the lower reservoir. Well, what, what is that? What is the big, I mean, that's red flag, potential energy, right? You're moving this fluid from one height to another height. If the flow rate of the water is measured to be 0.03 meters cubed per second, determine the mechanical power that's converted to mechanical energy during this process due to frictional effects, all right? Uh, so, uh, due to frictional effects we're going to lose some of this mechanical energy, all right? We're going to lose some of this mechanical energy. So if I, if I kind of think about the efficiency and the work out over the work in, the, um, the loss of work, you know, Right, this is going to be less than the work we put into it. The work in minus the work out would be the work lost. Uh, and that's really what it's asking for. It's asking for what is the work that, that we lose due to frictional effects? What is the work that we lose due to frictional effects? Uh, the work we put into this is the 20 kilowatts. The work we get out of it is the actual is the actual work. What actual work is being done? And here, the only type of energy, the only type of work we're seeing is raising the height of the water. All right, Th this is at a velocity of zero. This is at a velocity of zero. So it's, we're not really changing the kinetic energy. Uh, don't worry about what's happening in here. We're not really changing kinetic energy. All of the real actual work that's being done is a change in um, potential energy. So the work out, the work actual happening is the change in potential energy. All right, we're looking at, um, let's see, this is 20 kilowatts. This is 20 kilowatts. We're looking at a power. Uh, so this is a, kind of a W dot or a PE dot, which would be M dot G H2 minus H1 or, you know, really just this change in height right here, which is uh, 45 meters. Okay, uh, so M dot, the mass flow rate. How much mass is flowing here? Uh, that is not it. That is almost it. The big mistake and very common mistake is trying to put, put that in for our M dot. That's not M dot. What is that? Look at the units. Look at the units there. Meters cubed, that's a volume per second. That's V dot, all right? That's not kilogram. If that was kilograms per second, yeah, we just plug that in right there. It's not, it is V dot. Uh, how do we get M dot if we know V dot? Uh, M dot is rho V dot. The units would, you know, help us out or be a red flag to us. Uh, but that equation might might kind of be on our formula sheet there if you want to, to put that on your formula sheet. So so I'm going to change this to rho v dot g h. Rho v dot g h. So w out. Rho of water is 1,000 kilograms per meter cubed. The v dot is 0.03 meters cubed per second. Do you see how the units there just gave us m dot, right? kilograms per second. Uh, the G is 9.81 meters per second squared. The height is 45 meters. Uh, and we would uh, multiply those through. Let me see here. 1,000 times 0 0.03 times 9.81 times 45. Uh, and this would be watts. This would be in watts. W out would be 13,243 watts, all right, so that right there is 13.2, we'll say, kilowatts, so where's our answer, 20 minus 13.2 uh, kilo, kilowatts are understood, uh, would be 6.8 
kilowatts. That is the energy loss. That's what it was asking for. It asked it in a weird way. That is power that is converted to mechanical energy, right? Converted or lost due to frictional effects since we're not taking uh, friction and heat into account. Energy loss would be 6.8 kilowatts. Box that in. That's our final answer. Now, it didn't ask, but a lot of times it, 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 it asks, okay, so what's the efficiency? What's the mechanical efficiency of this? The mechanical efficiency would be 13.2 over 20, about 66% or 0.66 is the um, mechanical efficiency of that pump right there. All right, so big thing here is if the equation asks for an M dot, don't just plug in a V dot, right? Don't just plug in a V dot. And noticing that potential energy is the, the only type of real work that's being done, real change in energy that, that's being done, um, and finding the energy lost.